Hey everyone, this is Michael Stoltz with MichaelStoltz.com, changing the world one pixel at a time. Hey guys, it's been a little bit since I've made a video for everybody. Um, today what I want to talk to you about is how to replace your outgoing mail server, your SMTP address, in the event that uh, your hosting company does not provide you one. Example would be that on newer GoDaddy domain purchases, they do not actually give you an inbox unless you pony up some money. Now, back in the day, as we, you would call it, they did give you an actual inbox, which uh, my previous video that you'll see here on the screen or up in the corner um, reference, and everything worked fine and dandy. Now, over the last six, seven months, it seems like I'm getting emails saying, hey, Mike, I followed all your steps but it's not working so I kind of dove in a little bit and realized hmm, I wonder what changed and then it clicked in my head well obviously they're only providing you meaning GoDaddy for only email accounts so I want to give you two solutions mailjet.com and sendgrid.com which will allow you to use their SMTP server to send and deliver email for free they both allow you up to 6,000 emails per month which is very generous of them and I would say the most of the people that are coming to the video uh, this will suffice for what they're looking for now if you plan on sending more mail uh, if your heart so desires to then they do have upgraded accounts now keep in mind when you're inside a Gmail which this is what I'm specifically targeting in this video uh, they already have a daily limit of about 2,000 sends a day now personally in my own mind I have no earthly idea why you'd be sending so much email unless uh, you're doing some commercial things in that case Gmail is not your answer trust me <laughs> so uh, as you see on my screen here I have mailjet.com it's, it's simple easy peasy sign up for an account very uh, easy to do the other one is syngrid.com which I've already logged in and just have some fake information key of advice here do not put any fake information in here because they will call to validate it meaning SendGrid will uh, but this just gives you an idea of what this dashboard looks like hopping back over to MailJet this is what your dashboard would look like for here now I chose to use MailJet for this example I do use both of these accounts in a uh, commercial way to send email but not through Gmail this is just to be able to send like your colleagues or if you're running a small business or you need to send very limited email so to speak um, and it's not commercial email it's not like you're gonna fire up an email and uh, send a big list of everything uh, for your cyber uh, campaigns uh, and whatnot so all that you need is your SMTP information right here which is SMTP server your username and password for your Gmail so heading back over here to a Gmail account that I have this account for example for me personally is pretty much just for junk I do not use it uh, for anything uh, that is important in my life so when you're on your home screen you want to click over here on your settings wheel hit settings which will take you to this right here select your accounts page which you at this point should be familiar with if you've uh, viewed my other video or somebody else's and I have set up a fictitious email account that I want to use for demonstration purposes called Michael at uh, TSK Holdings LLC dot com now if you click on edit uh, info right here you'll have a box that pops up and you'll you've already typed in your name uh, hit next step and all you have to do is you want to select uh, the second option send through your domain SMTP servers which you've already done this if you're at this step just pop in uh, basic information right here boom 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 right in there and then I probably need to pull that back up here for you put it in there hit save you're off to the races so what you just achieved is that inside GoDaddy right over here once you've hit launch which I'm not going to launch this you've set up an email so in my example I set up Michael at TSK Holdings LLC.com I told it to forward 
to my Gmail account right here. Now when someone sends me an email and Michael at that address, I will get it in my inbox over here. In this case, I get a lot of junk here because that's purposeful. <laughs> that's why it's called my marketing work. Uh, not really, but um, it, when you get this, you'll see the email. Once you click on it, when you hit reply, when you send the email, it's going to be going through mailjet.com and you're off to the races. So that's all you need to know. One tip of advice with SendGrid if you utilize them, which either your company's fine. Again, uh, it's just, it, it's fine. SendGrid will reach out one of their account reps. They will want to kind of validate why you want this account. Uh, the tip of advice would be just be honest with them. Tell them, hey, uh, I'm looking to just send email because my hosting company doesn't provide an outgoing mail server. And I just need to send a few emails every day now and then. Um, to friends, family, and colleagues. And it's as simple as that. Uh, I will warn you, if you do set up these accounts and you decide you want to be tricky uh, because you want to blast everybody with some offer commercially, um, you're going to be, get found out pretty quickly. And I would advise you not to do that, um, you know, make other arrangements. So again, uh, hopefully this video today will help you uh, in achieving that. And it should hopefully solve your your problem if for some reason you followed the last video and it's not working um, that probably is a big reason is because you don't actually have an outgoing mail server and or you haven't paid for that uh, other hosting companies like HostGator, um, Bluehost, FatCow, I mean go down the list most of them if they provide you a cPanel you can set up to send and receive email as part of your hosting plan um, from there okay hey thanks guys enjoy your day take care